Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline, for those of you that do not know. And this is OMH. Um, first things first, make sure you subscribe and let's get into what we're talking about. All right, so for those of you that do not know, um a year ago sometime this month i don't want to say today but sometime this month i started my youtube channel and one of the first videos that i made was um romance recommendations and i kind of want to do like another variation of that just more specific so today I am talking about the trope haters or enemies to lovers within books and I have oftentimes said this on and off camera that I hate that trope with a burning passion. Let me show up straight. I have said many times that I hate that trope with a burning passion. However... I still seem to have multiple books, a lot of books, that have this trope in it, which I do love. All of these are four or five star books and have that trope in it. So uh, let's jump in. So the first book that I'm going to talk about that have the haters no, enemies to lovers trope is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahern. Mahern. Um, this trope, I, I mean, this book, I think I gave it four stars when I originally read it. And it's basically about a witch who marries a witch hunter. And he doesn't know she's a witch. and But they are enemies because they just don't simply don't get along on multiple perspectives but they end up getting married because it is forced by by like the witch hunter's boss and it's a great story next one i have that is enemies to lovers um is woven in midnight by isabel ibanez and i absolutely love this cover i absolutely love this book i give this book five stars i read it this year and it was so good it was so good um the enemy celebrity takes takes place with one of the like guards okay so this woman whose name Zemina 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 I think her name is is how you say it is I want to say a witch but she has like a special gift right and I'm not going to tell you what it is because it would be a spoiler I think and the king of another country or of like another land that took over her people's land make her come and be his prisoner because he thinks that she is the queen of her people but really she's just like a double or like like a disguise like she's supposed she's pretending to be the queen basically i'm doing a really bad job at explaining this but she ends up falling in love with this man who like sneaks into the palace every night and um like tries to stop the king in certain ways and at first they're like not they are enemies because he's somebody else in the book who she really despises but she doesn't know that yet and then they turn to lovers next book i have with enemies to lovers is a little bit of a stretch i'm not gonna lie and it is <laughs> alex and eliza by melissa de la cruz and this is basically the story of alexander hamilton and eliza Sc 
Skyler. And um, the reason I put this in, in Enemy to Lovers is because one, in this book, Eliza kept like doubting or like denying that she wanted to be with him or that she liked him or whatever. And then secondly, when she finally did admit that their father had banned her from marrying him because he wasn't wealthy he his name wasn't like renowned like he was just like unknown and poor uh but obviously he comes around and they do fall in love next i have the weight of feathers by anna marie mecklemore oh i think it was i think it was four stars four or five stars this one is The Weight of Feathers by Anne Marie McLemore. This is the only one that I did sadly give three stars to. And this is supposed to be a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, it's about these two characters. The girl, her family is like the mermaids. And his family is like the birds, right? And he can actually grow feathers out of his skin and he's like the outcast of his family she's the outcast of hers and they end up falling in love and that is all um but their families are enemies so maybe it's romeo and juliet retelling i don't remember next one next enemies to lovers is fire by Kristen Cashore and I don't have the like dust jacket but so fire um what can I tell you about fire fire has this special power that she can like control people's minds if I'm not mistaken Ugh, I don't remember that though 100% I don't remember it other have these same powers that she has that I cannot think of I think it's con mind control. I'm pretty sure it's mind control or something around that. Um, and he uses those powers to terrorize everyone around him, including a king in the next town over. And they're both passed away, her father and the king. But she has to go to the next town for whatever reason. And, um, and... She has to go to the next town for whatever reason. And his sons, one of his sons specifically, like, hates her guts. And they end up loving each other. Okay, so, Stalking Jack the Ripper by Mary Maniscalco is the next book I have recommended. It is following this girl called Aubrey Rose Wadsworth. Aubrey Rose Wadsworth and her she is a aspiring forensic scientist forensic analysis forensics person and her uncle is really into that her dad doesn't want her to do that so she ends up sneaking around to her uncle's chamber to like help him with stuff and he she ends up meeting this boy who teases her a lot, taunts her a lot, but they end up falling for each other. And this is a series, so that is all I'm going to say. Um, and I don't think they officially fall for each other in the first one, so. Whoops. Next is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. And I love these books. Everybody knows I love these books. But there's uh one specific i don't know if this is a spoiler there's a pair in here zelly zelly is the main character zelly is the main character and she ends up she's enemies with this boy who is he's technically the king i think technically um but he was a prince until his father was murdered. Um, and he stands for everything she's against, pretty much. And they end up 
and sparking up the romance. Basically, basically. Um, oh, I haven't even told you. All these have been five stars. Yet, oh, just kidding. Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. Um, is about Chloe Brown who moved into this apartment unit and her super, whose name is Red, um, they both hate each other. He thinks she's a pretentious suck up snob. She thinks he's, I don't know, she's not a fan of him, his, I guess. And they're very min mean to each other in like, a sneaky type of way and then they fall in love those are all the recommendations that i have for enemies to lovers so if you have read any of them if you have not heard of any of them and i made you hear i made you hear about them if you read them because of me if you read them and you don't quite think it's enemies to lovers um put all that in the comment section let's have a conversation i love talking to people i love talking to new people um so yes let's be friends that is all make sure to spread kindness like wildfire make sure to share this and any other video on my platform that you feel your people will love remember to subscribe remember to hit that like button and remember to spread peace and positivity all day every day and it'll come back to you and remember to keep reading that is all i'll see y'all soon bye